Hi, this is Lee. Somebody was asking how they could take this image of an ice cream scoop and make it a triple decker ice cream scoop, but have um, not have the 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 lines from the layer had to get rid of the lines from the extra scoops. So I'm just going to show you how I would go about doing this. So here's the image that I've just copied and pasted in, and I'm going to trace it. So of course that's path trace bitmap, which I already have open. I'm going to use brightness cutoff threshold 0.45 and I'm just going to say OK and then I will drag my copy, my trace off and uh, I can tell, I always try to ask people to look down at the info bar here down at the bottom and this is what I mean when I say the info bar. This tells you about the thing that you have selected and it will give you information if you try to do um, an action and it doesn't seem to work, sometimes it will tell you why. So if I if that one is selected and I look down here and it tells me that's a path, it tells me how many nodes it has, so I know that that is my trace. If I click on this one and look down here, it says that's an image, 200 by 200 pixels, and uh, so that's my original and I can just press delete to get rid of that. Okay, so now what um, the person was running into the problem, they had this um, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the paint bucket here with visible colors. Threshold around 50, it doesn't really matter. No grow or shrink. And we'll just pick a color. Oopsie. Control Z to undo. And then I'm just going to use the paint bucket to fill that and get an extra scoop. Now what she had run into was hers were just, had just had them as outlines with no fill, I believe. Uh, duh. Got to give that an outline. I'm just changing the stroke um, to give it an outline. Okay, so, all right, and so then she was asking, how do you get rid of these parts that are overlapping here? So I'm going to show how I would do that. I would not even bother making it into an outline, I would just leave it like this. And then, um, so use the paint bucket to make your extra scoop. Now you can click on it twice to get the rotation handles and you can kind of rotate it to make it look like, you know, a real ice cream scoop would be. And I'm going to duplicate it, control D. So now I have two copies of that and I'm going to change the color so I can keep them apart and put that in as my third layer. And then again, get the rotation handles, and, you know, kind of rotate it so it looks like it's scooped on there. All right. So now there's our ice cream with the three scoops and but if you were to go to cut this out of vinyl this purple would be overlapping the black and the orange would be overlapping the purple and you probably wouldn't want to put that on a shirt and plus you have a little gap here there's sort of a difference in the how these are put together there's a gap here and these are directly touching. So probably what I would do is I would try to create a gap in between these top scoops and they're, they're the next scoop under. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to take this pink layer and duplicate it. Control D. Okay, that made a duplicate. You see it's sitting, whenever it makes a duplicate it puts it on the very top layer. So what we need to do is we're going to change the color of that. I'm going to change it to a light gray. And then I'm going to press page down to send it backwards in the stack of layers. Page down. Okay, now it's behind the orange, page down again, and now it's behind the pink, and that's where I want it. I'm going to use path outset now to make a, a light gray shadow layer behind that pink layer. So path outset is under path outset, and you can see that the keyboard shortcut is control close parentheses. Um, since I'm going to do this a couple of times, um, because see, m the, f the first one I do doesn't outset it very much, so I'm just going to use the keyboard sh shortcut, control, close parentheses, and I'm just going to click that a few times until that shadow layer gives me a line that's sort of the same thickness as the line that they have right here. Okay, so there's that one, and I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to use that shadow layer now to subtract out of the black layer. So select the shadow layer, Hold down shift and select the black layer and now we're going to do path difference. Okay, when you do path difference it takes the top, the thing that's on top and subtracts it from the thing that's on bottom. So the light gray layer was on top of the black layer 
they were both selected so it differenced the light gray from the black. And you see if I move that over, it chopped it off. All right, so now I'm just going to do the same thing with the orange. I'm going to duplicate Control D. Okay, see it made two. Control Z to put it back. And again, I'm going to change that to light gray. And it doesn't have to be light gray. I'm just doing that because it sort of simulates what it would look like if it was white. Um, and then I'm going to say page down to move it behind the orange layer. And then again, the path outset, which is control close parentheses. And I'm just pressing it. If you want them to be exactly equal, you could count how many times you press it, or you could change this in preferences, but I'm just sort of eyeballing it. So that looks good to me. And then the same thing with that light gray layer selected. It's on top of the pink layer. So I hold down shift and also select the pink layer and then do path difference. Okay, and you can see the pink layer is chopped off. We don't have to do anything to orange layer because it's on top. All right, so then, say you want to change, you want the cone to be a different color from uh, the first ice cream scoop. And um, because of the way this image is, all of the pieces are separated from each other. You don't have any sort of outline that's enclosing any white space. This is actually pretty easy. We're just going to do path break apart. So path break apart. Okay, that gets, you can see it gets all of these into their individual little pieces. Okay, we don't want all of those pieces to be individual. We just want them to be separated from the ice cream. So I'm going to use my cursor to s click and drag across the cone parts. Okay, so all of those are selected now and I'm just going to do path union. All right, so now that's all together. They're not separate. And that is separate. So we could change the color of that. We could make it um, what color, what kind of flavor ice cream do we want? Pistachio. Okay. Now for some reason that's given that, oh, I think because this has an outline. If I look down here, it tells me the stroke is black. If I hold down the shift key and press this X, that gets rid of that outline. And then the same thing for my green layer. I click on that and then hold down shift and press this X down here. That changes the stroke color to nothing. Um, if you don't hold down the shift key and just click down here, it changes the fill color. Okay, so then you could also click this one and you could change that to a more cone looking color like so. Maybe we want a darker cone. All right, so that's how I would do that. And then if you wanted to add a shadow layer, you could select all of these, union them together, and then use outset again. Um, I'll just go ahead and do it. So select them all. I'm going to say Control D to duplicate, and then I'm going to union, path, union, okay. I'm going to change that to black by clicking down here on the black, page down to send it, page, I'm actually going to press N to send it all the way to the back. That's end on your keyboard, okay. And then path offset a bunch of times, getting a good shadow layer there. There's probably going to be some holes in it, I'm not sure. And then if you don't want, see it's making little lumps here, you could go back and smooth those out. Or you could leave it like that, it doesn't really matter. Okay, I'm going to double click on it to show note. Yeah, you can see if I zoom in, press and plus to zoom in. There's some nodes in the middle here where um, it didn't fill in completely with the outset. So I can just click and drag across those nodes and press delete. That would make a little cut in your vinyl if you were to cut it like that. Okay. So there is a shadow layer to go behind the ice cream. You wouldn't have to put a shadow layer on. It's I think it's cute either with or without. It kind of depends on what colors you're using and what color shirt you're putting it on. But that is how I would do that. Hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.